So we're coming to you guys with some breaking news, guys. This just happened an hour ago, and it's a very bad update for PDD. Just when you think it can't get worse, we need to brace ourselves for what is about to come. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. No matter what the time is, child, it is 5.30 in the damn morning right now here in London. Don't ask me why I'm up at this time. Since it's PDD stuff and I've been reporting on it, my sleeping pattern has been messed. That's how much dedicated I am to this. And so therefore I've just been up, chilling, working, studying, um, writing some notes, playing some PS5. And when updates roll in child, I am there to let you guys know. So please do subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and send a super thanks. So there's a dollar sign there. If you guys want to, I would appreciate it. Let's get into this because Roger Bonds is back at it again but this time what he's saying is very interesting he was the ex head of security when it comes to pdd and note that a lot of people in his past who worked for him are speaking out <sighs> okay so he puts up a compilation post of you know p diddy um investing two million in the jackson estate giving one million to the recent schools that he's just been dropped from and you know continuously just giving money to multiple people you can watch it i'm not going to put it there if this is love was hate he's saying okay shakespeare um and basically just posting pictures with him sean diddy you know returns how university one million he gives two million to jackson state on the same day not the birds, child. Not the birds are up. Anyways, and his caption is, at one time I would have taken a bullet for this man and those that know me know that's true. What's happened? People say, yo, why are you saying that? Why are you doing this? One reason is because you can't do nothing unless you want to end up in jail. Nobody worried about their kids when I had them. I mean, nobody. Where is the loyalty at when it's my son? You want me to have loyalty to someone who couldn't tell me he has 100K? I may not can go, but I can run sure, can make sure he has a legal team. But I'll give some strangers three million. F out of here. My truth, my story, my life. Two faces. Hashtag coming soon. Oh, you didn't think I wouldn't talk about it? Well, watch me. Hashtag general. Hashtag no sympathy. Hashtag betrayal with a smile. Name one person that has been with Diddy that is well off. Name one. Keep thinking because I want to name them. Zero. And somebody responds and says, you really should hurry up and stop the teasers. Amen. Everyone who has tried this gets stopped. And he says, uh, not me. And he replies again, oh, it's coming big. So he definitely is about to come with some explosive information about PDD. And I know that this man is sweating. Now, evidently, when it comes to these rich billionaires, they donate specifically to certain different organizations only because for tax writing off purposes. A million there, two million there. They get tax write off and it makes them look good. And it benefits the charity, whatever they're donating it to. Happy days all way round. Happy days all way round. All, all, all way round. Happy days. So this man is coming in hot. This was the ex head security. So best believe if anybody has major information on him, I would believe it's Roger Bonds far more than Jaguar Wright, far more than Gene Deal. That's how I see it. So hopefully his next post is that he comes with it. Whilst I understand that I hate people who you know, drop little teasers. Diddy's a powerful man and it takes a lot for you to want to speak out. Even after Cassie's lawsuit, it took a while for out people outside of Jaguar and Gene to really say something like Capricorn Clark, for example, and um, Kimura, exactly. It's just small little people are speaking out. None of these people will be doing it outside of Cassie. And even then, nobody really said much. It really just goes to show you how powerful this man is. They're still intimidated by him and they're worried and scared about what might take place if they say something still. So at the same time, I'm not really mad at it. And you have to really look at it as a wholesome, as a bigger picture. But P. Diddy is about to be brutally exposed in a different way that we are not going to expect. So this is going to be huge. I also wouldn't imagine, I also predict that this story with P. Diddy will die down. It will die down for a while and then something will come out again and re-erupt it. Cassie erupted it out of nowhere and I think something like that will happen again sometime, uh, you know, in next year, I was in a couple of months and early next year. That's how I see this going. I don't see this being a story that's going to be finished anytime soon. It's going to take a very long process for all this to roll out. In other words, this is just the beginning. We know so much has happened. Two lawsuits, Cassie's lawsuit, ex assistant speaking out, sponsorship drops, 50 Cent putting videos up. A lot has happened in this past week and a half, but it, guys, it's just the beginning. So buckle the fuck up because we're about to get into for one hell of a ride and we don't know what this man's about to say, but he is sending large threats. And I just feel like, is, is Diddy gonna do something? I don't know. I think at this point, eyes are on him, so he wouldn't do anything, but he might get people to do something, child. I don't know. I don't know. If this man can allegedly pretend 
and poison somebody to the point where they have pneumonia like symptoms i can't put past this man for what this what the hell this person's gonna do but this is crazy this compilation this everything just came out an hour ago roger bonds is about to brutally expose him and so he's about to go in and i know this man has a lot of information on diddy he's probably seen a lot especially because he was named in cassie's lawsuit he tried to stop xyz this was the x head he wasn't just an assistant he was an ex head of security he's bitter he's upset and he's right to be upset and he's frustrated he's seeing his you know loyal man donating millions to everyone but he can't even give me 100k to help me on my legal case on my fight so i get it it makes sense especially if he's dishing out money left right and center 100k ain't nothing to him if he's dishing out 3 million and 2 million over there Whew. <sighs> Child, this is a mess. Subscribe to the channel, click that button. I would really appreciate it, guys. The dedication is absolutely insane. I try to work hard as much as I can. I would really appreciate it if you do click that button. Subscribe, and I guess we'll all stay tuned to see what Roger Bond says, or maybe one day he'll go missing, God forbid, but I don't think he will. Who knows at this point? Who knows? Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon.